Adam, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. Just explain how it feels to have signed a two-year deal with a club. It feels amazing. I feel like ever since I spoke to the manager, I came down, just had a chat with him. I just feel like this has been a place where I've wanted to come. His plans for this season have been amazing. It's just something I want to be a part of. You joined the club from Wigan Athletic. How did it come about from your perspective? I just got a call off my agent and said that Doncaster interested. And then when he told me that, I just felt like it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up on. Hmm. A, a couple of players who have come in this summer have, have said that, that once they've had the meetings with the club, with Gary McSheffrey, with James Coppinger, that sort of sold the vision to them a little bit. W would you go along with that? Yeah, I'd, I'd say that 100%. I feel like ever since I came down, I felt at home straight away, even before I had signed. And I felt that was a big part of me that made my decision to come down here on a permanent basis. Mm. Still a young defender of course, you've had a, a fair few years at Wigan since breaking through and making your debut at the age of, of 16, why was now the right time do you feel to, to take that next step and, and go out I suppose and make a name for yourself? In the I, just, I just feel like now it's the time to go out, prove myself, get regular games at men's football senior level in the league and I'm hoping that Doncaster can be a place where I can do that and hopefully be successful. Do you feel ready for that? Do you feel like you've been biding your time and, and now is the right time to, to go out and test yeah, yourself? Yeah, I feel like I've been, it's a long time coming. I've obviously played a, hand, a handful of games prior to coming here at senior level, so I, I do think it's the right time to be here for me. What has the manager said to you? There's obviously a fair bit of competition in the centre-half role at present. What, what's he said in those meetings with you? What does he expect? He just said, just come in, work hard. He said, I doubt, I doubt you. I doubt you'll come in and not do that anyway, but he just said just come in, work hard, give you everything and then the results will start to show for you. Does that help you coming in? You, you, although you will obviously put pressure on yourself, there's not mm. that pressure straight away that you need to come in and, and, and do certain things on your first day in training. No, I feel like he's been really welcoming to me. He's just said he's laid out everything he wants to do this season as well, how he wants to play and I just feel like that just fits me perfectly. The club have made no secret of the fact that promotion is the aim last uh, this season. You'll have been around it last season at Wigan yeah. when they sealed the deal in League One. Did that sort of give you a taste of, of what it takes to, to be right up there? Yeah, I feel last season it just gave me gave me the insight to how it was. And I know this club, I know how big it is, and I know we should be pushing for promotion this season and hopefully get that done. Mm. You've got the deal done a couple of weeks before the season starts as well. That must be really good for you to know that your future's sorted. You're not sort of getting quite far into the window and wondering what's going to happen. Yeah, it's always, it's, I feel like it was always good to get this done sooner rather than later. So nothing's coming in last minute and you're not fighting for either fitness, playing games or you're last in the door. So I feel like to get this done early was good. League Two is obviously a really challenging league, some big clubs at the level. What do you make to the squad that, that, that you're joining here, one that can certainly challenge right up there? I feel like there is a good squad here, really good players, loads of technical ability in there, and I feel like this is a team that can push on and challenge for the title this year. I mentioned earlier on the sort of strength and depth in the centre-half areas. What does that do for, for players? Is it that competition? It keeps you on your toes every day, make sure that you can't slack off at any point as well? I feel, yeah, like you said, I feel like it keeps you on your toes, but more importantly, I feel like for all of us, it brings the best out of each other. You know, you're going to have to bring in and perform every single day, and I think if that happens, everyone's only going to improve from it. What can the Rovers fans who, who haven't seen you in action then expect from, from Adam Long this season and, and the season after? Well, as a player, I just like to get on the ball. I like to play out. I like to defend, I love to tackle, I love to edit. Pretty much the, the old-fashioned centre-half, then. Would you agree with that, with yeah. a, a slight tinge of, of the modern day as well? Yeah, you could say that. I'd love it.